Uh, I'm Georgie Cunningham and I'm the company director. My name is Tom Kendall and I'm the events manager. Fran Clover, production manager. Tenderfoot Theatre is a climate focused theatre company, so the work that we make tries to instill ecological practice into the arts industry whilst making work that focuses on topics like, um, so the one we're looking at at the moment is the population crisis, we do a lot of research into things like waste management and all of that kind of stuff. So We really want to sort of draw attention to the bigger problems, I mean, the climate emergency affects everyone um, and so we took that in as a whole and we thought well we want to develop this into something a bit more niche so then we looked at the population side of things uh, and this is where sort of our focus of work has been going towards um, how we can sustain either the, the population on earth as it is as it grows um, I think as well as that, also, our work also focuses around young people. Mm-hmm. So we are all young people ourselves, um, and we wanted to give youths in our communities that opportunity not to just fight against the climate crisis and speak more about the ecological problems, but also be engrossed within the theatre, because that's how we all got here through, well, most of us anyway, through youth theatre and things like that. So it was giving the youths more opportunities as well. Uh, I'm Joseph Roberts and I am the technical designer. I'm Kate Carey and I am Tenderfoot aesthetic designer. So we wanted to make our costumes um, sustainable as the clothing industry is notoriously really bad for the environment. Um, So this includes things like all the way from sourcing materials, um, vintage, second hand, even stuff we've made ourselves. Absolutely. You know, like... um, all kinds of techniques from knitting to weaving and we're really excited to try out anything we can really um and, and chemical dyeing yeah. is, is is such a such a big problem it, it's one of the <laughs> the worst things about the, the fashion industry as a yeah. whole and and you've been fantastic in finding all of these little <laughs> little so, ways to dye things with yeah, onions so and natural dye is it's really okay. fun um there, there's so many dyeing properties that we don't really um, know about in kinds of fruits and vegetables, like um, onion skins, for example, give a great orange colour, and you just wouldn't know from looking Absolutely. at them, but I've been playing around with them and creating some gorgeous colours. I mean, you can get purples out of you know red cabbage, and it's gorgeous stuff, and it's, it's been- quite easy to do. So I think um, I want to raise awareness that you can make gorgeous clothing gorgeous costumes out of vintage, out of natural, out of, you know, second-hand stuff that does look and feel um, amazing to wear. Uh, Jamie Bolton, I'm the director. I think it would be a lie to say that sometimes it's not hard because it's a lot of work, but I think we're all really passionate and not just about theatre but about the eco-practices that we use that we don't... So we don't mind isn't the right words, but I think we're all so keen and engaged with what we're doing that although it is a lot and it takes up our spare time, we're so passionate about it that it doesn't really matter. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it's definitely a challenge and we get asked quite often how do we fit it in by like our lecturers and all that. But the reality of it is, because we're all so passionate about it, we really, really enjoy the work that we're doing, that it's our downtime. You know, we, we enjoy spending time on this, put, like, putting our... Yeah. I think the key to it is, well, we're all friends. Yeah. And that we love spending time with each other. So the time and energy that we put into the project is also the time and energy we spend with each other. So that we enjoy engaging with each other as much as we enjoy engaging with the project. So I don't think we mind giving up the odd weekend or the odd lunch or the odd afternoon just because it means that something we're passionate about can be taken forward a bit more. Yeah, we've all got the drive and the, just the want to do it, we all think. Um, despite the fact we all have univer- full-time university going off some of our jobs, so we've got no real free time, but we all have the drive and the want, so we find the time to do this. And it's, like, it, yeah, it does get hectic and it gets stressful at times, but it's all worth it. Every second is worth it.